The Car is the 15th episode of the first season of Everybody Loves Raymond. This is directed by Howard Storm and there are some amazing moments in this episode. There are a couple of scenes that I don't really care for, but that's more of a personal preference thing rather than anything wrong with the episode. But in general, it is pretty fantastic. So there will be spoilers from now as I go through various aspects of the episode and point out things that I really loved and a few things that I didn't particularly enjoy. And it starts off with something that actually proved that I am a bit of an idiot because it started off with Ray revealing to Deborah that ABC and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are the same tune. I know this. I thought, okay, I thought that was common knowledge. And then, interestingly, after he does that, we get the the intro and then it kind of picks up where it left off, which is quite unusual for everybody else, Raymond. And he's still talking about tunes that are the same and he revealed that... Barney's I Love You is the same as this old man and I never knew that and I felt like such an idiot and it's taken me 32 years to learn that. I mean, I assume that since I've seen this episode before, I did learn this at one point but just completely forgot about it or dismissed it and I just can't believe I didn't realise that because it's so obvious once you know it. So that was something I found to be pretty interesting. And then the main narrative kicks in. Marie and Frank come over and reveal that they're selling their car. And it's not just any car. It's a car they've had for 20 years. And Raymond has some fond memories of this car. So he wants to buy it from them. Deborah is not exactly pleased about this because it is an old car. And she doesn't think it's going to be reliable. But in the end, they buy the car. And pretty quickly, it goes as Deborah expected. The car breaks down while she's out with the kids. So she goes over to Marie and Frank's to see if they can get the money back and give them the car back. And this is just one of my favourite scenes in any Everybody Loves Raymond episode ever. It is just so funny. And it starts off with Marie mixing a bowl of, of something we don't necessarily know what it is immediately and Frank pouring in a whole box of flour. And it turns out he's bought a bread maker with the money he made from selling the car to Raymond and Deborah. And he and Marie are having this competition to see who can make bread the quickest. Marie doing it the old-fashioned way and Frank with his bread maker. And it, the, the exchange between them is so funny. It is beautiful. They are throwing insults at each other, but in a very loving way. And my favourite part of that is when... He, Frank said something to Marie and called her a loser because she was still kneading the dough and, and she said something to the effect of guess who I'm thinking of though and it, it was just fantastic and so funny and just absolutely perfect. Robert then comes into the room and he reveals that Raymond used to refer to the car as his make-out mobile and this is because he used to get lucky with a character or a woman called Lisa Constantine. And Deborah's obviously not very happy about this. She confronts him. And then he says that it's actually not about that. It's the fact that it was his freedom when he was a, a teenager. And Deborah kind of makes peace with this. And then we have the scenes that I don't really care for. And again, this is down to personal preference. But we have a couple of flashbacks. Now, in a way, they have a good message in them. Because to start off with, we have Deborah's flashback. Well, maybe flashback's not the right word for Deborah, But we have Deborah imagining what happened with Ray and Lisa. Lisa is played by Kristen Bauer and we see this, in theory, flashback of, of this very passionate, heated evening in the car. And then we see Ray's version of events and Ray's flashback is very, very different. And I guess there's a message there that what you might be imagining might not actually be what happened. And that's always something worth thinking about. But I... Don't really care for flashbacks in general in any TV show, not just Everybody Loves Raymond. So while I appreciate those, and I think they will definitely appeal to some people, personally I'm just not that bothered about the flashbacks here at all. Then we have a nice moment with Ray and, and Deborah trying to make their own memories in the car, and then the car ends up being almost on fire. Robert comes along, and it, it's not too bad. And then we end with them in bed, end of the day. Everything goes quite well and smooth towards the end. I think the first half of the episode, up until we get the flashbacks, I think it's a very funny, strong episode. After that, for me, it's not as interesting. But again, that's largely down to personal preference. But either way, it's a brilliant episode. Definitely has one of my all-time favourite scenes in it. And certainly the car is one that I'll always be happy to watch.